Hi, this is Juan Mejia with New Blue FX, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a cool movie title inspired by the upcoming Alien movie using Titler Pro 5. The end result will look something like this. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be using a couple of images, which I'll leave links to in the description below. First off, I'm gonna add a new rectangle and color it black to make a nice solid background. After that, I'll import my smoke texture by going to File, Import, Image, and position it toward the right of the screen. Then I'll lower its opacity a bit, maybe to about 85. Next up, I'll click on the Add Text button and type in Alien, then change the font to Arial Narrow. Now I have to give it that classic Alien font look, so I'm going to increase the font's width to 100 and compress it a little bit. After that, I'll set the kerning to about 1.95 and give it a very slight bevel. 0.12 should do it. Once that's done, it's time to give the font a slightly metallic look by adding a 3 color gradient and selecting an in to out gradient type. For the top and bottom colors, I want to go with a grayish green and an off white for the center color. Then I'll adjust the handles accordingly. I'll add a new text paragraph for my subtitle, enter my subtitle's text, and again select the Arial Narrow font. This time I'm only going to increase the font's width to 41.5 and compress it a little bit. For the subtitle, I want to push the kerning to the letters all the way up to 2.55 this time. I will also add a 3 color gradient to the subtitle, but this time I'm going with a solid green on each hand and a slightly lighter shade in the middle. It's time to bring in the rulers and get this looking nice and neat. That's looking pretty sharp. But I want to add a little more interest to the title with a few particles, so I'm gonna go to File, Import, Image, and import my particles image. Then I'm gonna set the opacity to 17, and scale it down to fit on the lower left corner of my title. Then duplicate it a few times to fill my title with particles. I wanna make sure my text paragraphs are at the top of the timeline so they sit on top of my particles. Once I've got a look I'm happy with, it's time to add some animation. One of the most important aspects of this title will be the way it animates in and out. I'm going for an elegant but creepy vibe, so the first animation I want to find is the split transition. The split transition is available in our transitions, kinetic motion pack, split. I'll select the appear preset and apply it to the alien paragraph, then change its smoothness to normal. Now for my subtitle, I'll head back to the split transition but this time go with the build up preset and check the reverse checkbox so that the letters fade from out to in. After that, I'm adding a fade in transition to the end of my text paragraphs and to either end of the rest of the paragraphs except for my black background. I'm gonna go with the slow finish preset. You can speed up the process by copying and pasting the fade and transition between paragraphs by right clicking on each paragraph. Next, I want to add some subtle movement to my particles, so I'll go to Effects, Animations, Float, and apply this low backward animation to all of my particle paragraphs. I'll use this opportunity to retime my paragraphs and animations as well. Finally, I want to add the last piece of movement to my titles. For this, I want to enable keyframing on my alien paragraph and keyframe a subtle background movement by changing the Z position.
I'll do the same to my subtitle text and fine tune it to get the result I want. And there it is, a clean futuristic sci-fi title you can use in your next film. For more tutorials, go to newbluefx.com slash tutorials. This has been Juan Mejia, and I'll see you all next time.